question. So another thing that's been good too, off the back of the pandemic, one of the only slight silver linings I felt like has been the reemergence or the kind of um was it, was it re-emerge? yeah the reemergence of the residents resident DJ because obviously with the pandemic some places weren't able to welcome in you know foreigners right weren't, weren't able to welcome in people from other countries especially in London you know we've been able to keep our clubs open for a pretty decent amount of time and unfortunately especially with us being you know um out of EU it, it kind of didn't really allow people to come in and be able to play raves and play parties as they were as they did prior which then shifted the clubbing i felt no, which, which then shifted the priorities of the event bookers or the people putting together the nights to ensure that the places were full but then obviously you couldn't just book the same old big headliner so you had to kind of maybe go back to your um your roller decks and pull out some resident djs that you maybe have given the random friday or saturday here and there to to maybe have a chance that can maybe fill those places out and again i've mentioned prior to before like I feel like in the UK especially, it's really difficult, maybe more so than most places, to make it as a DJ anyway because the competition is so... There's too much competition, basically, right? It's kind of hard to crack through. I, I don't even know what the stats are, the numbers, but it must be really low by the amount of people that start and actually make it in a place where someone actually pays the money to go and play. It's really, really difficult. And the levels are really high too because everyone DJs here, especially from a young age, we listen to our radio music. is pretty decent radio stations. You get to hear a whole variety of different genres. You grow up in a very, especially if you live in London, you grow up in a very multicultural community or multicultural city or area, wherever it may be. So you are kind of you kind of absorb all of these different influences through osmosis without sometimes even realizing so by the time you do decide to dj your taste in music i feel like is a lot more well-rounded than most people would be i feel like i don't know whether or not you guys agree but i'm not, not trying to you know suck my own dick as a uk person but i think that's basically what happens you end up being a lot more in tune so then when you end up djing you end up being quite decent you just have to learn the technicalities of it but your ideas and how you kind of want to put together a set and you're kind of you know kind of um yeah all that sort of stuff right in terms of your programming and whatnot and your sequencing is really good you just got to learn the technical side of things so obviously that means everyone's going to be really good so the standards are really high and because the standards are really high it means that the spots are going to be few and far between especially in london with all these draconian licensing laws or clubs open up and they shut down really quickly so there's not a lot of places to play and the places that are there to play they're gatekeeped right so a lot of people don't want to bring in new people because they want to get let their friends play or because in general it's pretty risky to just trust somebody you don't know because they might empty the entire dance floor and put you in a red and you're not able to pay a mortgage so i understand the pressure on that side too but they did feel like there wasn't a clear path a clear kind of progression plan in place or system or structure in place that would allow somebody to go from being a bedroom dj to suddenly playing at fold to suddenly playing at print works it doesn't exist and the reason why it doesn't exist because we didn't really have resident djs everything in our club nights in the uk centered around getting big acts from foreign countries to come in and play and obviously that worked for a particular moment or particular time but then after a while you know you start to become a little bit fatigued and i feel like even before the pandemic, it felt like to me that whole like booking of the biggest act, like booking the top 50 DJs to play in your place or you play in your club, it was kind of running its course in London. I don't know if people agree, but I felt like it was running its course. People were getting a little bit tired. These places, these um, raves weren't selling out as easy as they were prior. And then bang, the pandemic happens and it forces these clubs to start becoming a little bit more creative with their bookings and maybe change the way that they're kind of approaching um, their nights and maybe maybe try and introduce a residence program to get the punters used to that kind of music. Because I understand the argument on the other side. The argument on the other side is that if I get a resident program in place and I play with the DJs that nobody fucking knows, you know, on my biggest nights of the year, then there's no guarantee that people are going to buy tickets and come because they don't know who the hell these people are. But then the other side of the argument would be that people are never going to know who they are unless you book them. Right. And obviously you can you can kind of have the big act and then you can kind of fill in the slots to kind of assist the person or to kind of assist the big act with the resident DJs. But in London for the longest time, what they do is that they'd usually just fill in the entire slots with big names. And maybe it, sometimes they'll have the kind of the person doing the opening set of the night, like, you know, the fucking graveyard shift where nobody's there from like, I don't know, seven to like ten you would do that set nobody's there or maybe the closing set where everyone leaves what the main DJs played that's the time when maybe a resident DJ would play but the actual times where 
punters come in and they might they might find a new favorite dj they don't they wouldn't play them there so it's a kind of a bit of a give and take but it looks like this club london so this club called the color factory here in hackney wick which is um formerly called mixed garage a place that i went to quite a lot prior to the pandemic and then i think it changed ownership and now supposedly it's a black owned club which is quite cool to see and it's quite evident that that happened because the programming and the people that play there is completely different to what it was when i went there so i think one of the last times i went to mixed garage um tricks from innovision was playing there and now the people that play there are completely different to the kind of stuff that tricks plays the the scene that he represents the people that Go to that sort of night, so it's quite cool to see that kind of evolution. They've changed the inside of it a little bit. Um, I like what they've done with the toilets, I like what they've done with the smoking area. It feels like a funner place to be in terms of how you hang around in it. The sound, unfortunately, from when I went recently to a um, inferno, it feels like the sound has suffered. Maybe it's because of residential complaints or something, but the volume isn't as good as it was prior, but still, as a for a club like in Hackney Wick, again with good transport links, a place where you know you could go to different other places. You could go to another place too called the Yard if you if you're not really liking that place. There's a good there's a couple of spots you can kind of bounce around to, and obviously there's the adv advantage if you end up finding friends where you can maybe go over to the warehouses across the across the bridge as well. I think they do quite a pretty decent job. Um, in terms of what they do in terms of programming overall but this is courtesy of resident advisor it says london club color factory reveals the 2022 residents and i've got obviously a list here of resident djs that they're going to be putting in place it says east under the dare um i don't know how you pronounce her name i i, I had a dream i had a dream um danielle Mech, Me, mechatok and Shannon SP will each curate events at Hackney Wick Spot in the coming months. Um, I had had the dream. It's at first on February the fifth, followed by the other, February nineteenth, March twenty sixth, and April twenty third. So it's not even like they're doing the Berlin -y kind of OG way of doing the resident DJ program, where you'd have them playing basically most weekends and then you'd have the kind of maybe the payday weekend as a big headliner person they're instead doing it the other way around and they're just giving them random dates throughout the month to just fill it in right which is okay it's a start it's not the best place to start it continues it said color factory one of london's mm -hmm. first sorry few black owned venues also recently teased a partnership with popular queer party crossbreed oh wow interesting interesting here's a person announcing a new residence so they're going to do a collaboration with crossbreed going forward that's interesting isn't it full time so yeah they've got the whole card here so they're advertising it well they obviously got a bit of press and resident advisor and again i think it's great to see i think this is again one of the small silver linings to come out of the back of covid has been clubs deciding or kind of being forced in a position where they don't have to always rely on big name ticket djs to come in and maybe allowing resident djs to have the opportunity to play in front of a captive because that's what i've always said to my, about myself i rate myself highly but again i'm never going to improve to a level that i want to improve unless i'm playing in front of people because it's all well and good streaming a dj set but there's no you know there's a big difference between streaming a dj set and playing in front of actual people and also i'm never going to get the fans that i need in order to kind of progress my career unless i'm playing in front of quote unquote people and you have to play in front of a captive audience so it's all well and good me playing these pub sets and shit which is nice i really appreciate the time because i wanted to get the ability to play in front of people but being able to play in front of a kind of captive audience who have come out to kind of hear the kind of music that i might be playing and they might make me a new favorite of theirs that kind of goes a long way in terms of building me as a building myself and other djs as an artist and as a dj and also goes a long way to kind of allow the club to gain i wouldn't say credibility but like, yeah kind of credibility and trust so that you can so imagine if you went to one of these nights on like you know let's say the first one you went on the february the 5th to go see i had a dream and it's amazing maybe you then trust color space or sorry you, you maybe trust um color factory and you're like you know what i'm gonna go there every friday when i get paid anyway just because i know they're always gonna have a banging djs and if you happen to bump into the guy again or girl then you're gonna love it but you're still gonna just go there because you trust that first night that you knew when you went there they booked somebody you didn't know and it was great so you know you might as well just take the chance and go again when someone else you don't know is playing so i think it kind of works for everybody in that regard so it's great to see me i'm not going to lie i'm really really happy to see that and hopefully the djs that have given a chance take it with both hands and you know gain some new fans you know absolutely destroy the place and kind of create some really long lasting memories because you know that's what we need to see here especially now going through what we're going through with covid it's nice to have some level of distraction so you can kind of forget the ills of the world for like a few hours and then obviously be reminded of it once you wake up but you know small steps small small steps